Hey guys, today we're going to um, uh, look at some linear equations and we're going to convert linear equations that uh, begin in standard form and we're going to turn them into a form of a linear equation called slope-intercept form. So standard form is something like this. This is an example of a linear equation in standard form. And what you'll notice is both the x and y, the, those variable terms are both on one side and a constant 24 is on the other. Generally speaking, this is the way that we, uh, we show it. Um, AX plus BY equals C, just meaning that A is the coefficient for B, uh, for X rather, B is the coefficient for Y, and C is alone. And this is considered standard form, and this is really, really useful, uh, particularly when we um, want to find our X and Y intercepts. Uh, but when we want to graph, slope-intercept form is a really handy way to do that. This is kind of a function form because we're going to get y alone. And this is what it would look like, a typical uh, linear equation in slope-intercept form. Notice now I have y alone. I have a variable term in x with this coefficient of negative 3 and a constant hanging out here. Notice there are just two terms. And I have y is always the y is always alone over here. Okay, in slope-intercept form, these particular things, the coefficient negative three, is considered the slope of this line, and we'll talk about slope in another lesson. And this number, this constant here, represents the y-intercept or where the line crosses the y-axis. And again, it's a it has meaning. So the big deal of, for us in converting it to slope-intercept form is we have it in this exact form. In other words, we want to get this variable term in x separate from the constant over here. And we want to have it in two terms. And we want to be very clear as to exactly what our coefficient is. So we will be using the idea of solving literal equations. That's uh, uh, an equation that has more than one variable in it and obviously you see this is a literal equation and what we're going to do is we're going to solve for y. We're going to get y alone. And a uh, coefficient again, it's very important that you understand what a coefficient is. It's that number that multiplies a variable. So our, uh, in this case, m, the coefficient for x, is, is going to be our slope in this. And again, we'll talk about slope in a later lesson. All right, well the two example, our two example equations I used are actually equivalent equations. It's just one is a different form for the other. And I could really put an arrow going both ways, is they are equivalent. This could be converted back to standard form if I wanted. But um, what we care about today is converting something from standard form into a slope-intercept form by getting y alone. Okay, so uh, to get y alone. So here's what we do. Just it, It's nothing entirely new for you guys except for a little bit at the end. So the first thing we want to do to get y alone, notice I've highlighted y, is we're going to subtract 6x from both sides. Now normally, uh, or what we've done before is when we subtract the 6x, you would have seen something like this equals 24 minus 6x. But we don't really like it like this because I want to have my variable term in front of my uh, constant. So what I'm going to do, I'm just going to move him over and then when I subtract 6x from both sides, I'll have my 24 over here, but then I'll have my negative 6x six, six here. Commutative property, because we are just adding these two terms, means I can do it in any order. And this is the order I want to do it. I want to have my variable term in front. Now once I get that, to get y alone, we're going to divide by 2. Now before we've done something like this, we've divided this whole side by 2, which is entirely algebraically correct. And before, this would have been our perfectly fine answer. However, now we want it in slope-intercept form, so I want this to be two terms. So what we're going to do is, like when we came over here and divided by 2, really, since we're dividing this whole thing by 2, in a way, we're supposed to be dividing every term by 2. In other words, this negative 6x is being divided by 2, but also 24 is being divided by 2. 
So it would look something like this. Now in each term, we would just simplify. Negative 6 over 2, well, that would just be a negative 3. Uh, 24 over 2, well, of course, that's just 12. And that's how we get our forms the same. So this new form, this would be considered the linear equation in slope intercept form. Okay, so let's try a couple. Okay. Take a second and go ahead and convert uh, that x minus y equals 3 into slope intercept form. Okay, again, we want to get y alone. So I have to get everything else on the other side, and I have to have um, a certain sequence for that. So uh, the first thing I'm going to do is I'm going to subtract this x off of both sides. But remember, I'm going to move this guy over because what I want to do is have the variable term in front of the constant. So notice I just scooched him over and subtracted x from both sides. But y is not alone right now. Right now we have a negative 1y. So if I want to get it alone, I'm going to have to divide by negative 1. And I divide this side by negative 1. I divide this whole side by negative 1, which means every term by negative 1. When we do that now, I am going to get y alone. Negative x over negative 1 is just a positive x. 3 divided by negative 1 is a negative 3. And now I can go ahead and... Whoop. And remember, the coefficient for x is 1. Sorry about that slide. Okay. Let's try the next one. Go for it. Okay, so we want to get, uh, again, we're looking to get y alone. And like before, we got to subtract x from both sides. And just like before, I'm going to scooch this guy over to make room for my negative x. Now I'm going to divide each term by a positive 2. Okay. And so, of course, I would get y alone. I'd have negative x over 2 plus 5. Now, one thing, there's a problem here. Some students would have a hard time understanding what the coefficient is on this. Well, understand that a negative x over 2 is the exact same thing as negative 1 over 2 times x. So really, in this situation, we want to express any sort of fraction like this, because then we know very specifically what the coefficient is. And remember, the coefficient is important because that represents our slope. So the correct way to write this in slope-intercept form is y equals negative 1 over 2 x plus 5. Okay. Why don't you try this one on your own? Okay. Again, we're trying to isolate the variable y on this one. So we're going to get rid of our 2x, subtracting 2x from both sides. And again, I'm going to move over my coefficient. Now that I'm here, I want to divide up both sides by negative 6. So I divide this side by negative 6, and I divide every term in this side by negative 6. Of course, this cancels to 1 over 3. 12 divided by negative 6 is 2, and I get my linear equation in slope-intercept form. Notice my slope is 1 over 3, and my y-intercept is considered negative 2. Okay, give that one a shot. All right, um, I hope you took a look at this and thought, hmm, I don't like this uh, uh, denominator at this point, so I'm going to go ahead and clear the fraction. So I'm going to multiply the whole equation by 3. Now when I do that, of course here I'll get 6x minus 1 equals a negative 9. And I want to get y alone, I subtract the variable term 6x from both sides. I'm going to move my constant over. And now y is not alone. It has a coefficient of negative 1. I'm going to divide every term by negative 1. So basically I have y equals 6x plus 9. Okay. Hi. We have four more problems to do. Uh, please do these on your own. Uh, and we'll check these in class tomorrow. Remember, each one of these will be con con uh, converting into slope-intercept form. So pause this, take your time, write them down, and I will see you tomorrow.